Hello viewers, I am Aitli. Today we are going to see 11 CBSE Max Straight Lines Exercise 10.2 Question number 11. Let's see the question. A, a line perpendicular to the line segment joining the points 1, 0, 2, 3 divides it in the ratio 1 is to 9. Find the equation of the line. Now they have given a line perpendicular to 1, 0, 2, 3 divides it in the ratio this point p is divided in the ratio 1 is to 9 so if i take this to be a this to be b a b divides p in the ratio 1 is to sorry 1 is to n 1 is to n now we can find the point p they are asking the equation for this line now what do you know about this line we don't we don't know anything but we know that we can find a point p using the ratio formula of a b I can find the point P and the given hint here is it is perpendicular. This line is perpendicular to this line. As I said before, if you see the word perpendicular, think of the slope. So if we find the slope of AB, we can also find the slope of PC. Using M1 into M2 equal to minus 1, we can find the slope of this. Now for this line, we know a point by the uh, section formula, we can find the point and also the M2 we can find by the slope concept. So we will know about the point and M2 using that we can find the equation of the given line. Now For P, we can use section formula mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n same way my2 plus ny1 by m plus n. So using this formula, I am going to find the point P. Now this becomes x1, y1, x2, y2. This is your m and n. Now substitute the values. P is equal to m is 1. 1 into 2 plus n here n is n only so n into 1 by 1 plus n same way 1 into 3 plus n into 0 so by m plus n so the m plus n is 1 plus n now solve it 2 plus n by 1 plus n comma 3 by 1 plus n now this is your point p we can't solve it further we need to leave it as it is now i know my point p as 2 plus n by 1 plus n comma 3 by 1 plus n we have found the point p as i told before we can uh, find the slope of a b to find the slope of p c so slope of AB which we know uh, it is of two points so two point equation y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so substitute the point 1 comma 0 and 2 comma 3 while substituting it the value over here slope of AB will be which is nothing but m1 equal to 3 minus 0 by 2 minus 1 which is 3 2 minus 1 will be 1 so 3 3 is the slope so m2 will be m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 so m2 is equal to reciprocal of this and with a negative sign so as it is positive we can write it to be negative remember this m2 we can find it easy or substitute the value go to the side you will find your m2 now we are find the slope we know a point passing that is 2 plus n by 1 plus n comma 3 by 1 plus n. Using the point and a slope we can write the equation and solve it. Now if a point and a slope is given then the equation of a straight line will be equation of a straight line if a point 2 plus n by 1 plus n is given and 3 by 1 plus n is given then slope m is equal to minus 1 by 3 we know one point and the slope so if we know one point and the slope the equation of a straight line will be y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 this is x1 y1 this will be your slope so just substitute the values here 
y minus y1 will be 3 by 1 plus n here is equal to m is minus 1 by 3 x minus x1 will be 2 plus n by 1 plus n now take lcm here taking lcm just, just if the denominator is 1 just multiply the multiply the denominator with the numerator it becomes y plus y n minus 3 by 1 plus n is equal to minus 1 by 3 here take LCM, taking LCM as I told before, just multiply it. X plus Xn, take the minus sign inside, it becomes minus 2 minus n by 1 plus n. Here 1 plus n and 1 plus n get cancelled because it is in multiply, so you can directly cancel it. Now multiply 3 inside because there is no like term to solve just multiply 3 inside because it is in divide here multiply minus sign inside multiplying 3 is 3y three plus 3yn minus 3 3 is are 9 is equal to multiplying minus sign is just change the sign it becomes minus x minus x in plus 2 plus n bring everything to one side i am going to bring this term to this side because here we have a negative sign for x there should not be negative sign for x so bring everything to this side lhs to the rhs to the lhs side it becomes x plus xn then y term plus 3y plus 3yn then the constant term it is minus 9 here bringing to this side it becomes minus 2 and minus n so the equation will be x plus xn plus 3y plus 3yn minus 9 minus 2 minus n equal to 0 solving the equation we get taking x common from this we get x into 1 plus n here taking 3y common we get 1 plus n solving the like term this is minus 9 and minus 2 it becomes minus 11 and minus n so minus n minus 11 equal to 0 that's all with the equation this is the required equation for the given sum that's all with the sum thank you